You can now select what fields and unleashed you want to see in Xero as tracking categories. This will enhance your reporting and make your life easier. Please keep in mind that tracking categories are to be created and managed within your Xero account. To enable and select your tracking categories in Unleashed, go to Integration, Integration Store, and click on the Xero tile. Now click in Configuration and scroll down to the bottom of the page. Over in Advanced Features, switch the toggle on to enable tracking categories. Here, you can choose what fields from Unleashed you want to track in Xero. Please remember that Xero has a limit of only two tracking categories, but we can choose to track these in our sales order, sales journal, and the purchase order. For this example, we will select Track Warehouse and Sales Groups. Now that you have selected the tracking categories you want to bring to Xero, it's time for us to have them mapped in Xero. Over on your Xero account, click in Settings, General Settings, and Tracking. Now click on Add Tracking Category. Enter the name of the category, for example, Warehouse. Now we need to enter the name of all warehouses. Please note that the names must match with the ones you have entered in Unleashed, and the spelling must be identical, so don't forget to double check before saving it. Once done, click Save. Now let's do the same for our sales groups. Make sure the names are identical to the ones that are entered in Unleashed. For more information on how to manage your tracking categories in Xero, click on the Help icon at the top right corner and click on Get Help for this page. Now that you have your tracking categories mapped, you will be able to see the fields coming through Xero. Please note that if tracking categories is not matching, or if the spelling is different, the transaction will still be passed to zero, however, the fields will be blank. Thanks for watching.